two years ago, we launched Battalion's Kickstarter with an idea, and that idea came from how much we love FPS games. But they've, they've lost something. That magic blend of simplicity and skillful play that made the down-the-barrel experience so awesome to play. And I feel like that's what we spent the last two years handcrafting into Battalion. When you combine a classic shooter with all the great trappings of modern game design, such as matchmaking, anti-cheat, and uh, rankings, you have the makings of a classic shooter in its own right. To me, I think this is the best FPS game of the year. Everything we did and all that we sacrificed has got us to this point right now, where we could finally make the FPS game that we always wanted to make. Throughout development, it's been so important for us to study every aspect of World War II. The main thing for us is to really understand the brutality and the visceral nature of the Second World War. Combining the beautiful backdrop of World War II France in Unreal Engine with classic shooters that we grew up playing as kids, I think it's a winning combination. We're here to immerse ourselves in the area where the collision of these massive war machines took place. And sometimes it's something small like a barn or a window where a sniper may hide but sometimes entire streets make it into the game. And that has a massive impact on Battalion. I think players are going to really see that when they boot up our maps for the first time. The subtleties of the environment, uh, the damage, allowed us to push the boundaries in terms of art and level design. Every time we get out here, we find something new and amazing that slots right into Battalion and feels great. It's not about reinventing the wheel, it's it's about going back to what was great about games and has been lost. There's that element of nostalgia when, when you pick up Battalion 1944 where you go, yeah, this is like playing COD 2, this is like playing COD 4. You're getting like a, an adrenaline fueled satisfying gameplay experience. We've been working so damn hard just to make sure that you can capture the intensity that these weapons have. And making that translate to a mouse and keyboard, it's been a challenge, but I feel like we've really nailed it. We play games every night, and we, we can see what we want to play as players, and we know there's other players that want to do the same things. And that's just a, a classic shooter with casual and competitive modes. For like $14, we're just listening to what FPS fans want to play. During Battalion's Kickstarter, I was planning my wedding, and the month after it was successful, it, and I got married, and then we found out she was having a baby. And um, everything was really high in my life. And about halfway through the development of Battalion, uh, my daughter was born, but uh, she only survived for about two hours. And that was, um, that was right in the middle of Battalion. And I think uh, one of the hardest things was coming back to work, but when, when I did come back, I found a place where I could just focus on something that I really loved doing. And, you know, being able to sit down and read the forums and see the community kind of rallying together and sending me messages and telling me to keep going and saying it'll be okay. And people in our community have had the same thing happen to them. Battalion and the Battalion community has actually helped me get through that. And I think with Battalion coming out, there's only really good things on the horizon. So it's been a tough year, but Battalion's helped me get through a lot more than a lot of people who play Battalion will ever know. Battalion is not just about World War II, it's about recapturing those days that have gone by, the fun that we had playing until 3 a.m. and practicing really late into the night. Those memories, they're the driving force that really pushed us to make Battalion the true successor to, you know, the great shooters of the past. When you look at all the incredible people that are involved in making this amazing project happen, from just community members messaging us saying, good job, keep up the work, all the way to our tech guys staying late just to make sure that the game modes get in so we can be testing them. Everyone has had an important role at some point in this project. I think the exciting thing about 1944 is the fact that the conception of that game was from a group of people who understood esports and played in esports. Effectively, the community was, in a, in a way, building a game for the community. This has been two years of really hard work just to create something from nothing. Finally, we're able to say that on January 9th, we'll be able to show you the Battalion 1944 game trailer.